Alright, so I am out here at night. I'm going to walk you around my garden at night. This is normally how I garden, believe it or not. I come out here because nobody's out here. The wife's in bed. The kid's in bed. No one's texting me. I don't hear anybody cutting their yard. It's quiet. Listen. Other than my air conditioner unit, yeah, just listen. Absolutely nothing. So I come out here and I pick off, you know, flowers and take a look at my plants, make sure slugs aren't coming out. Take a look at all the flowers on this guy. I gave up trying to pick them. I just seriously gave up. That's the, uh, I believe, the Thai pepper. Look at my my cabbage plant. Look at that. Yeah, I forget what this tomato plant is. Forget what that is. So, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and see what this is. Yeah, that's my Thai hot pepper right there. <sighs> this is the habanero that I got from the store. I mean, it looks great. I'm going to show you this during the day, but I just wanted to show you what I do at night. You know, I come out here and I, I mess around with my garden, you know, at night. Look at, look at how much my cucumber plants taking over but well, you can't really see it because you know it's dark <laughs> this is just a brief tour to show you what's going on I'll make another video add it at the end of this clip so you can see what I see this during the day this is Rapunzel right here looking absolutely beautiful I forget what that guy is I forget what that guy is I think that's the Carmen Hybrid right there. Or maybe that's the Carmen Hybrid, I don't know. I'd have to look at my chart. All looking pretty good. And of course, oh, forgot about this bed over here. Another tomato plant, just absolutely huge. Look at that. This sucker's looking pretty sad. This is the big bell Bertha. Looks pretty sad, but hopefully, hopefully it'll come back. These two, I believe, are my Anaheims, and that's my sweet pepper. Maybe I don't know. I'd have to look at my chart. One thing I did a little differently. I have. Let's see what is this? This is my Patali Gourmet Jigsaw. Look at that. I decided to go ahead and start one. I'm going to grow it in a bucket. That's another jigsaw. Growing a little bit better. That's alright though. This is an ahi lemon drop. Oh, what's this one? That's another ahi lemon drop. And this is a yellow maruga scorpion. So, I got more peppers. Out in buckets, um, I may only get one harvest them off this, one harvest off them this year. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you what I do at night, and uh, you know, I come out here and I mess with the pool too. See how clear this water is. Normally, I come out here and I skim it like real quick. This is just what I do. You know, it's it's the only time that I really, really can get some time to myself and not feel guilty that I'm not diverting my time to family or something like that. So I got in pretty late. Right now it's right now it's like 2:30 in the morning. So I normally go to bed at about three. So anyway, let me get on with this and uh, end this clip, and I'll show you this in the daylight, so you guys can see what's going on in the daylight. All right, so it's been it's been a few weeks since my last video, 
Um, wanted to give you an update. Uh, it's been raining pretty heavy. This is uh, like the brightest day we've had. So this is my Vitaly Gourmet Jigsaw that literally hasn't grown. It's got to be putting uh, roots down because it's staying pretty green. This is another Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw. Looks good. What is this? This is my Ahi Lemon Drop. Looking fantastic. This is another Lemon Drop. Looks fantastic. That is the Yellow Maruga Scorpion. Looks good. This plant I know is Rapunzel. So as you can see, these plants have shot up like crazy. I got flowers on there. I've been trying to pick them off, but I always, I always garden at night. <laughs> and uh, so sometimes I miss some flowers. So anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm doing both stakes and, and I'm letting it grow along the bottom, just not too much. I forget what this plant is right here. But as you can see, looks good. I forget what this one is right here, but as you can see, it looks great. Forget what this one is. This one looks good, other than this one dead leaf on there. Throw that off. I forget what that guy is back there, but he looks fantastic. This, I believe, is my Amish paste. See, look, another flower. Go ahead and pick that guy off looking fantastic oh, I got another little flower going on right here yeah I cage I cage from the main stem that comes out so it can grow up pretty tall and then it seems as it grows up pretty tall it branches out so I've been I've been putting stakes up for the branches here's my cabbage plant that was a surprise cabbage plant because I forgot it was there it's my only one that has survived because I kept forgetting my cabbage was there and I kept raking over them. So, as you can see, here's another flower. Except for this one, I'm gonna let flower. It's, it's big enough. Uh, I forget what this one is. Um, forget what this plant is called. But it looks great. This is my Thai hot pepper. Look at how good that thing looks. This is a regular store-bought habanero, probably going to be an orange of some kind. Oh look, there's a flower. Get that guy off there. Oh, there's another one. It's important to take your flowers off at this stage. You don't, you don't want... Yeah, see here's another one. You don't, you don't want flowers at this stage because you want it to, to grow out and grow taller and bushier. So here's another one right here. Tell you what that rain man that rain does a lot to a plant here's my tabasco this is growing kind of slow um, but it's starting to pick up I forget what this guy is this one took a beating with the rain it actually broke a branch which you can see right here if it'll my camera will zoom it broke a branch completely off and it caused it to start leaning so I had to put a stake in there to keep it up. This right here is my boxcar willy looking fantastic. Uh, it's got stakes everywhere because it's just growing. It's growing along the ground. It's growing from the side. It's going up. I mean, this thing is just getting huge. But it looks great. You can see the flowers on it. I'll go ahead and pick this one off. Yeah, here's another one. See, I'll go ahead and pick those off for now. Anyway, here's another one. So I, I gotta go buy some more steaks. I didn't top my plants this year. I didn't do a whole lot of topping. That's my sweet banana. It looks good. I forget what this guy is. I think it's my Anaheim. Yeah, it's my Anaheim looks good but most of my plants came from um, Walmart this year because I had that really bad start to my year 
So like this guy is gonna have to be staked. That's in Anaheim. This is my Big Bell Bertha, which is finally making a comeback, as you can see. This thing was just growing slow, super slow. It just, everything kept going wrong with that plant. It just kept getting beat up. Um, what just happened on my picture? I think I just touched my phone. Um, weather was beating it up, and just everything was happening to that plant. This right here is my Gypsy. And as you can see, leaves are just getting pounded off by that wind and rain. It looks great. And I forget what this one is, but uh, it's growing well. You can see I had to stake everywhere. So I took the cage off this one just because of the way it was growing. Uh, the cage wasn't helping it at all. And this is my cucumber patch which has gone crazy since my last video. I don't even know what plants are what plants anymore because they just blend. They're growing up and over the, the fencing over there. They're growing down along the ground. Like, you, like as you can see, there's really no break except for right there. So this, this right here is actually those two plants. Um, just growing so thick. This is my ahi panka that I'm letting fruit and flower, I'm just let it do its own thing. I started that about June, July of last year, so it's, uh, it came out here pretty, pretty well established. Already a very deep root system, so it's ready to go. So at least I'll have one plant, one pepper plant that I'm gonna get multiple harvests from. So as you can see, this guy's got fruits everywhere. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bee flying around in there. Keep, keep pollinating on little buddy keep keep pollinating on <laughs> bees are your friends I mean just peppers everywhere but yeah look at that just look at that it's crazy absolutely crazy it's growing I'm, I'm hoping it grow up and out along the fence so as you can see look at that growing up and out along the fence I'm trying to help it as much as possible. Like I just, I'll pick up, you know, a branch and I'll shove it back through. Give it something, give it something to grip onto. Yeah. hoping to shove that guy in there but it's all right yeah I mean that's just, just amazing absolutely amazing can't believe how many peppers are in this thing hundreds I mean hundreds of flowers So tomatoes and cucumbers are self-pollinating. So although I do appreciate these bees, um, cucumbers are self-pollinating. But look at that. I mean, that's just nuts. So as you can see, I've got, I've got good growth. Um, the rain's really going to help now that it's finally gone away. Uh, I'm gonna have to start staking plants up um, because none of them, none of them, none of my plants got topped this year. Uh, last year I topped a majority of my plants, all except for a few, and I can't remember what it was that I topped last year, but or didn't top last year. But this year, um, I wasn't really gonna top anyway because I wanted my plants to grow up because I'm gonna have so much in my raised beds and my plants were gonna be close, so I wanted it to grow up anyway. So as you can see, it growing straight up. You know, I did get some off branches, but you know, as you as you can see, I I had to stake. It's our it's already uh, almost June. It'll be June here in a week, and I had to stake. So, but other than that, I you know, everything 
Everything looks amazing. Rapunzel's going absolutely ballistic. I'm gonna end up forcing it to grow up more. I'm gonna have to. It just looks fantastic. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that quick update of my garden. So as you can see, my wife hadn't even noticed how much Oh, you know what? Let me move over here because of the the air conditioner. My wife hadn't even noticed how much my garden had grown up until she peeked out the window the other day. She was like, oh my God. She says, have you seen your garden lately? I was like, of course I have. I go out there like twice a day. <laughs> I do a majority of my garden in, at night because I don't have anybody around. So... But yeah, it's uh, it, it looks fantastic. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that update of my garden. Um, the, unfortunately, this hasn't been my primary focus. I've been doing, I've been working on my kitchen a lot lately. Um, and so between, you know, bet with my back and my knee problems, going from this to that is pretty painful experience honestly so I uh, I really have to uh, and I work so I really have to uh, manage my time but anyway so that's my garden this year it's recovering from all of its numerous setbacks so anyway appreciate you for watching leave me some comments uh, down below uh, let me know how my plants look maybe maybe some things that I can do differently uh, and I'll talk to you guys in a few weeks thank you for watching